Hello, everybody, and welcome to the D-Pad. I'm Rick, and this is Persona 4 Golden. Uh, if you've been with us for a while, which I think everyone that's here tonight is... Oh, the chat's still broken? What the fuck? Uh, we played... I played... Pers oh! All right, so that's working. That's good. Oh, thank you, nobody. Thank you, thank you. And Radar as well. Thank you, thank you. 60 and 30. Goddamn, all the round numbers tonight. Why is this not connecting? This is fun to have happen right now. I tested this earlier and it worked fine. There we go. There we go. Ah, But yeah, welcome to Persona 4 Golden. Uh, I think, what, four or five years ago? Actually, no, it might have been five or six now. Uh, I played Persona 3 Fess. It took 150 hours to get through the game. Uh, game uh, I guess it's kind of like one plus a little bonus different mode with the uh, the answer portion that's in there. Uh, I wanted to try to make uh, this little shot here look kind of yellowy. Uh, I had to trick the camera, and then it still doesn't really work. So that's that's fun. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been curious about Persona 4 and 5 eventually uh, for a while now. My understanding is that Persona 4 has a decidedly different vibe than than both 3 and 5. Uh, 3 and 5, you know, my understanding is they have different vibes as well, but they're at least more similar to each other than 4 is. But let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, let's check the config real quick on the off chance. Confirm. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, all of this seems pretty good. Confirm. Uh, I keep. I they have it in here that makes it look like it's an option to change. Uh, I just. I just kind of watched the intro there. I've, I've watched little bits and pieces. I could probably go through it one more time just to actually comment on it though. Uh, no, don't auto text. Cursor position memory. Yeah, battler. Program guide notification. I'm going to say yes to that. I don't even know what it is, but I think if I, if there's an option to get notified of something, that's probably a good call. Invert camera controls. I'm going to say yes for now, and we'll... Um, source game... Only 90 to 110 hours. Well, technically, so is for me at least, Persona 3, the main game, was about 100... How many, I, forget, I forget how many hours it wound up being. It was, it was like, right over 100, I think. Um, and then Fess is what... Uh, the, the answer was what really pushed it to that 150. Uh, sure. Anime subtitles, yes. Contrast. That seems fine. Oh, no, no, no. Confirm. Such a weird way of doing that. Character move. Oh wow, full on. Okay. Confirm. Cancel. So yeah, I think I think we'll figure these out just fine. Uh. License. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, it does scroll. Oh, but it just scrolls for that. Very cool game. Very cool screen. To Powered by Cryware. Cryware. Is a trademark. Great. The kerning's awesome. Oh, hey, we got that font again, too. It's a little more noticeable here, but the font they're using is... Oh, no. Uh, it's not exactly the same. It's very, very close to the Kiara font that um, that uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask use. It might even be a slightly modified version of it, but... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh... Sure. Rescue request function. Sure. I want to go back, though. I want to watch the intro again. Uh, sure. Can I back up? It is literally not letting me back up. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's just go ahead and, uh, and we'll... We'll reset really quick here. No, no, no. This is way too many things happening at once. Yeah, no, that was the right thing. No, let's customize. I just want to close game, and we'll open it again. There we go. You can see the splash screen and everything. I'm surprised they don't let you, that there's no option to, to fucking back up in the new game menu. That's so weird. 
Blues Traveler providing our music here today. I like the butterfly becoming the little rabbit ears antenna. Ah, Hero, our, our protagonist, presumably. All right, Yosuke, wearing a garbage can. We got Chie being cool, dancing. I'm sure the garbage can won't be symbolic of anything. Yukiko. Oh, I dig this guy's shirt. Kanji. That's going to be a tricky name to get by with in Japan. We got Rise. Or Rise. The, 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 they, they've done some weird stuff with uh, Naoto. And look at this champion, Teddy. Okay. They've done some weird... I know in, um, in Persona 5, they seem to pick the most unlikely pronunciations possible for like everything it's like everybody's oh okay we got our we got our new uh velvet room uh, uh attendants definitely very bright vibes on here which is kind of what i had heard that like it kind of does the opposite of persona 3 where that in that one everybody's like really miserable and you're finding like positive things to do to change and all that this one seems to be a little bit more about my what I have heard anyway. Yeah, was it uh uh, uh and and to comicy? I think is is how they pronounce that. It's so weird. Like I look at that, I'm like, oh, either like an Takamaki or something like that. Uh, granted, I am not. I am not from Japan. I don't know. You know, I would not be someone to make a like serious judgment call on it. But it's just like, huh. That feels off. Um, <clears throat> sure, get all that stuff in there. I'm going to go with normal mode. I usually go with normal for, for all these things. It does not affect the story. Okay. I like that the that the moped gets a little bit bigger as you go with these. But yeah, you, standard fare, we usually go. We usually go... Um, first name pronounced on. That's right. Because... I look at it and I remember comedy because Sarah played Persona Five, and and then that character got named out loud and was like on to Kamiki, and it's like, what? That's so like completely fucking wrong. Several ways at once. What the hell? Start at normal difficulty. Yeah. Oh, the kerning. Look at this kerning. The, the oh my god. Holy cow. It's gonna be a ride. Well, relax and have fun with the game. That's an interesting, that's a hell of a starting message for this. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I finished my thought from before, which is my understanding of this game, what I've heard about it, is very little, but uh, the, yeah, the keeming is indeed irnernaculate. Uh, my understanding is that this one is like, it takes the opposite approach to Persona 3, where people are bright and happy and stuff, but the idea is like coming to accept uh, that, you know, things don't always have to be okay kind of thing. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was one thing that I, uh, that I almost, I almost put a thing on the bottom of the screen that's, that on the little, uh, ticker there that says, uh, uh, under construction. That's going to evolve slightly over the course of, uh, over the course of these streams. I want the little, the little side bits to move. I want, uh, I want to add and change the text that's in there a little bit. The text might move. Uh, but yeah, I figure a little something down there. I liked uh, we had our prototype version we got to use during the Jackathon, uh, and I, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I can I can find you know smart ways to do that. I would love to integrate it with some stuff so that any like stream event things that happen can like turn up in there, like interrupt the the thing. But that's going to take some actual like JavaScript stuff. I'm gonna have to look into how that. It's really great as a JavaScript developer myself, uh, going to look for docs on how XSplit's JavaScript handling works, and they don't have any. So there's a lot of guesswork that's going to go into that. But anyway, uh, dang, you guys, Teddy's not real. Shit. Fuck. How am I supposed to be happy now? Persona, presented by Farrell, uh, Pharrell Williams. Oh, sorry, it's a Persona game. Farrell Williams. Pretty sweet car. They got lights and stuff. I love how the grill 
is the wait is the velvet room a fucking car? We're driving a fucking Bentley around. Hi. Oh shit. I was I've dreamed I was in an elevator. I don't know what the hell's going on. I never noticed the elf ears before. Welcome to the velvet room. Thank you. Okay. Oh, the three D here looks ah, awkward. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Is this a new voice? I don't know. If, I don't remember. I don't remember this guy's this guy's voice. I love. I still do love the um, Cyrano de Bergerac million mile nose. My All name right. is Igor. Right, Igor. <gasps> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. We're actually driving from the jail this to the to the elevator. Between dream and reality, mind and matter, brain and brawn. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract. Oh, that's right. Enter. Didn't the la I think the last game also had the only only one version of quotation marks? Close quote. Contract. Close quote. I promise I'm not going to spend every stream nitpicking the uh, the text display, but eek. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Sure. Also, man, uh, when's the last time you slept? Your eyes look rough, dude. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, my name is Harrow, apparently. Let's see. Oh, right, we're doing last name for... Oh, man, what did I do for... I'm trying to remember what I did for, for Persona 3. Because I have a couple... I have I have a few options I could go with. So, I could do Geopatty. Oh, Ricochet Pad. That's right. That's right. Is Geopatty... I'm trying to think of any, like, two named people. It's also going to be eight letters or less for both. Rick Lash is a fun one. This is always the this is always the most paralyzing thing when it comes to a game. I love customization options, and then I'm just like, oh, oh god, what, uh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be money, money, money. Uh, percent sign di uh, divided by e. Who who else have we had as like two name things? Because we had Jamboon a while back, but that was a one namer. It's Mr. Mock. <laughs> Yu Narukami and Sita Soji. Okay, interesting. Ricochet Padlock. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That that at least makes more sense of like of it being like a full kind of name there. Cool. Uh I could just do it again. Yeah, there's there's a lot of pieces of this so far that are like, oh right, this game was back when this stuff was still kind of certain elements of like bouncing between 2D and 3D things were still being kind of worked out. And also, hey, remakes in the modern era really just disrespect uh, game fonts like super bad. Rick Lock Patache. Um, let's see. Trying to think of like stuff that we've done lately that would make for a good for a good thing here too. It could be I'd be I could be Kirithi un unchained. It's actually not even true, it wouldn't even fit. Yeah, I think I think everyone's going with the same general same general stuff here. I, I might just go with the same one. Um, hmm. Going as Emilio Strats. Oh, that's right. It also filled up the 8x8 there, too. 
Now the fun part is now I now I understand with this being a thing from Japan, they're sticking with family name first, surname followed by your given name. I do hope this doesn't mean that it's going to uh, it's going to uh, uh, present it as padlock ricochet in conversation too. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, quick, quick vote in the comments if I should keep this name or go with something different. Because I do have, I do have, I do have one other I can, I can rock. It is localized properly. Okay, I kind of, I was kind of hoping that would be the case, just because it is, you know, a pretty thorough English localization. So, all right, we'll stick with this. It's fine. <coughs> hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Sure, but only if your assistant gets at least a couple more polygons on her face. Ah. Yeah, what do you got in that in that uh do you believe in fortune telling? That bottle over there. Not really, but each reading is done with the same cards. Uh -huh. Yet the result is always different. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? More or less. Oh no! Tartarus exploded. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Tartarus, no! The card indicating the future beyond that is... And then we're going to the moon. The moon in the upright position. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves the moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Mystery. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, a regular deck of cards. The odds of, the, the odds of shuffling a deck of cards into the same arrangement that anybody ever has for the his, through the history of of humanity is extremely low. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Like, where is this car going? In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which oh. you will return here. Sick, we're getting a record deal! Fuck yeah! The coming year Gross. is a turning point in your destiny. <laughs> If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Like the TV show? Or... Or like my future loses? My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Do you work for somebody? <laughs> Never been totally clear on that. Ah, I have oh yeah, dancing all night. My assistant to you. This is Margaret. Yo, Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. You live in car? My name is Margaret. Yes, I know. I am here to accompany you through your journey. I'm glad that you got work after Persona 3, I guess. This is I'm really I'm really rooting for you. We shall attend to the details another time. Okay. Until then, farewell. Oh yeah, the canon dancing game that also includes uh, Persona 3. Uh, hi. <laughs> well, there goes monetization. Cool. Thanks, game. We got a Celtic commercial. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. Calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. Haha, <laughs> what a great seltzer First commercial. Now for politics. An affair with a TV announcer on a sign. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, who's that supposed I'm mixing to up the Q games as being the ones that bring four and three together.
Oh boy, we got a case of uh, of Edgeworth well, syndrome. I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Oh man, I was tired of staring at his empty face. That was a really emotional moment for him. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys caught that. The animation here is beautiful. You can tell he's the hero because he's got the number two on his collar. Oh, don't do that. Never. Oh, that's the train itself. I thought that was his phone that was doing that. Okay. Is Enka popular overseas? Oh boy. Oh, should we go soon? Yes, just about. I'm just gonna finish eating my breakfast. Uh, um, 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 um. uh. Every morning I have a bowl of cigarettes. Objection! Yeah, no, those two look nothing like them. Is the implication that, that that we just visited him right there? Like, that's where that first scene actually took place? Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Yo mama so Inaba. That anyone making fun of her was persona non grata. Key. Hey, over here. Hi. Oh, great. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. In the list of all-time first impressions to make to, I assume, a teenager, uh, I'm going to rank that in, like, the th th fourth percentile, right? Near the bottom. Great job, middle-aged man. Welcome to Inaba. Wait a minute, it's middle-aged man. Hang on a second. He's about to go uh, smear some peanut butter on his face and defend more little girls like the one that behind him. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why is it always middle-aged man? Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. He's our uncle, and we've never met him and don't know his name. Totally. I'm your uncle. Don't you trust me? It's been a long time. I'll say you've really grown. Okay. I still remember when you were in diapers. I'm like, let's let's try and see if we can nudge this in the direction of of uh of actual like familiarity. <coughs> this here's my daughter. She's your mother's younger brother's daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Well, you just did. <laughs> Hello. I'm always confused. Like, the voice acting for that sold it pretty well, but I've seen this, like, low, you know, line before in places, and I'm always just like, that's the strangest. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone just go, low. Like, it's just weird. Something is weird. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you so shy for? I'm seven. Ow. Did you just smack his ass? What the fuck? I, I don't like... I don't like my family. <laughs> They're really weirding me out. I don't like this. It's going to be a 200-hour stream series just because I have to keep pausing. Well, then, let's get going. Please. My car is over there. It's a nice car. Are we taking something else? Everyone's got, like, a weird ghosting effect as they move. Hey. Hi. You dropped this. I don't think I did, but... Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Okay. What you made for yourself? With, ah. Okay, bye. What's wrong? 
What? Oh my god. <coughs> We're off to a super good start. Moe. Oh man, I can only read half of that sign. Ah, welcome to the gas district. Hi, welcome to Mole. 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 Okay. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? I, I want to say I hope he's asking his daughter, but also she's definitely old enough to do that by herself. Uh huh. Okay. I'm just imagining him turning around to like 15 year old us and going, "You good going to the bathroom by yourself?" In the back to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. <laughs> I know. Jeez. What if she's a lefty? Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick oh him up. Oh my god. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? I'm really happy to be giving you our life story here, gas station attendant. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Okay. Got pretty blunt there. Right away, sir. This voice actor sounds extremely familiar. I cannot place it. Time is any for a smoke. Um, 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 um. Just start shoveling them into his mouth. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? I'm, I'm, There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. It's an intriguing way to give us the, the hint of what our actual daily activities are going to be. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Ain't that convenient. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Okay. <laughs> just going just gonna to shake fingertips. Oh, I should get back to work. Uh, okay. Okay. What? Oh, is Nanako our first yeah, social link? Hey. Did you get car sick? Blah, just projectile vomit. You don't look too good. I mentioned you feel a little dizzy. Um, 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 What's wrong? Um, um. You okay? All That's right. understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. I, I, I don't know. It's only a couple minutes long, apparently. I take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Cool. A little bit of agency. Yeah, we already covered this part. Shopping districts near the house. You should get to know where all the stores are. Blue butterfly. Saves our progress. Okay. Whoa, we are way faster than I thought we would be. Okay. Next bus isn't going to come for a while. If you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If I only had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I how much they cost me, but I'll be able to buy myself one. Okay, bus stop. Can't go to the south area. Oh, oh. Can I... Okay, I can move slowly. Can I approach a crow? Can I, like, sneak? Okay, that's menu. No, 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 no. Nope, I keep hitting that. Nope. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's any way to slowly walk around. Yo, girl. We met before. We met five minutes ago. Oh yeah, there we go. Just now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take the the extra life thing off of there. Sing herself. Okay. We're just doing the station. Just went. Don't have anywhere to go. Well, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie and be rude to her. So. Ding. It is very, very nice to be able to save somewhere other than uh, in a room where you're not allowed to leave without advancing the clock. Falling books are being released on 4:20. Woohoo! I need some papers. The lovely man. 1200 yen. The famous man series now in stock. That's that's what we need. More books. More books about man. Totally. Expert study methods. 2800 yen. Get an edge over your classmates. Don't do it in public, though. You'll get arrested. 
Beginner fishing, 1,600 yen. Now you can be a fisher too. That's what it says. Thanks. Okay. Fierce looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. Is this gonna be our, uh, our like equipment shop later? It's the mailbox. Didn't run down. We have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but now we but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junes, Junus, Eunice hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. It sounds like the name of a place, like Junes Department Store, but right, Tofu Shop. This camera angle is weird. Juness, okay. Didn't know where my snack went. I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? You want to work? See ya. We're really looking forward to eating it. Okay. Capsule machines. And they don't work. Great. Got beverages. Inconvenient, inconvenient. At the same time, a, there's a delicate ban balance. Thanks, Thanos. Okay. Well, that was an interesting tour. I think I got everything, unless I can slip inside somewhere here. Guess we're good. All right, I'm ready. Press the backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. I'm good. Looks like someone doing a little thing in the silhouette there. You arrived at the Dojima re residence. More like the Dojo Ma. Ha ha ha. Funny joke. Tong is hanging out next to me, so I have to be like really particular about how I sit. All right, let's have a toast. I mean, I'm hungrier than that. I was hoping to have some of this sushi, but I guess we can just have toast. There we go. Bonked my uh, my monitor power button. Eek. No, this is juice. Laid back. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I don't know. I know it's only for a year, but... Getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It does seem like a... being a kid. It is. It, the house does feel a little bit... It feels very lived in. It feels a little bit cluttered. I can certainly relate. It definitely makes it feel more real, you know? Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. Okay. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. I was part of the family before I got here, too. You're my uncle and my cousin. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Wait till you see how I do breakfast around here. What do you think that box of cigarettes is for? <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. You're, you're making her feel put upon. Well, anyway, let's eat. Picks up the sushi, grabs one of the, grabs a cigarette underneath. This hour? Dojima speaking. Dojima, not Dojima. Dojima, got it. Like, Ko like Kojima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Under the cigarettes. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. I could eat all the cigarettes again. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. You were planning on getting super drug tonight? Okay. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? <laughs> okay. But only remember which way your left and your right are. Nanako, oh. it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? <laughs> It in. Okay, so they got a they got a, a clothesline situation. All right, well I'm off. The sound of the front door closing rattle, 
Like, why is that something that's getting a description there? What the hell? That's so weird. Like, I get it. This week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. That also seems like a thing that you that would be easy enough to like have as, as a setting, I guess. But I didn't see a setting for that. I don't think. With storm clouds moving in from the west, like accessibility and all that. Throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Nanako is five years old. Okay. I guess I wasn't that far off with seven, but all right. <coughs> so rainy day Let's two. Let's strike up a conversation. Let's start with what does your dad do? He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. Okay, calling it now. About sixty-five hours into this game, we're going to do something, and he's going to turn up, and it's going to be like. Miles Morales situation of he's he's on our trail and we have to keep stay ahead of him for his own safety and My ours a detective. like Batman and now for the local news city council secretary Taro Namatame is under fire Taro Namatame with a female reporter his wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Hiragi is definitely a choice for pronouncing that, but all right. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Whoops. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public. This is definitely a very blunt way of doing of, of doing this. Like until we're sure that you didn't fuck the guy, we're gonna. This is boring. Yeah, it's boring cartoons. At Juness, every Juness. day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Please don't touch our products. Every day. Oh my god, look at the look at the logo for that. Talk about fucked up kerning. Oh my god. Jeez. Holy cow. Every day's great at your Juness. Absolutely nobody's singing a fucking Kmart jingle where I come from. Aren't you going to eat? <laughs> yeah, I'll have the sushi, but not the cigarettes underneath it. All right, so calendar and butterfly. Got it. This isn't a calendar. That's a phone. The calendar's over here. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, the perspective was really confusing. Okay. It made it look like there was an area back here, like a more room in general there. Uh, let's start looking around. Uh, No, I'll leave the fried rice for now. Don't know whose it is. Don't know what it does. Don't want to eat somebody else's leftovers. All right. Might be able to make lunch. Oop. Okay. Remote. What happened to you, buddy? What, hap what happened to your face? It's so fucked up. Oh, no. She's at a loss for me just approaching. Oh, I want to do the quiz. I want to watch the quiz show. I'm going to sit right here. I want to watch the quiz show. Okay, so there's that. I guess I'll save and go upstairs. It doesn't seem like there's a lot else to do. The text language setting has been changed, so the main character's name will be fixed as you... What the fuck? Wait, why? <laughs> why do that? If you'd like to keep your original name, you must change back to the original text language setting. Why would they do that? That's... What the fuck? Text language has been changed. The main character's name we fixed as you, Narakami. If you'd like to keep your original name, you must change back to the original text language setting. Why? Why would they do that? So, all right, hang on. Uh, where is that setting? Oh. 
Whoa, what the fuck? Why did they do that? I... Okay, but it still says... What? Uh, okay, I guess that's how you identify which thing it is, but... It was a text setting, they said, right? Is it because I named my guy Ricochet and there's online stuff? Or because of the word name Lock? Like, the weirdest shit. Okay, all right, hang on. Let's... Let's scroll through here on the off chance there's something there. Battle, event. No. Okay. What the fuck? Game language settings. This isn't even Steam. This is this is on the this is on the PS5 right now. That's so weird. That's so fucking weird. Text language. Se Why would the text language matter? That's what's got me confused. Why would the language make a difference for this? I'm like, I'm like stunned by that whole, yeah, I... I've I've had I've had about 0.01% gameplay so far and I've already gotten the game to to kill my name. Is my name in one of these boxes? Can I customize my room later? That'd be fun. Not yet. I can not like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some research later. It's a bug in the PS version. That message pops up, but nothing happens. Oh my god! Even better. Oh my god! For one year, starting today, an actual year, or are we ending around New Year's? I wonder if everything will be all right. I don't know. A ghost just yelled at me and tried to steal my name. So weird. Ah. Am I getting married? Who am I getting married to? A bunch of boxes. Red boxes! Red boxes is my waifu. We're in the world that never was. In a disco floor. The area is covered in a thick fo uh, fog. Well, no, backwards seemed like an option. What if I go this way? Oh. oh no, I'm in the TV. It's Poltergeist. I do I do dig the scan lines and, and static and stuff going on, on the sides. It's a very cool effect. Do you seek the truth? I don't know. Maybe. Somebody's groaning at me. If it's, if it's truth you desire, come and find me. Gross. Gonna have a battle. We're gonna have our welcome, welcome to to persona thing. Well, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of options here. Ew, that seems a little weird. Ooh, that's fun with the with the RGB <coughs> CRT style thing. Oh no, we're fighting a mannequin. It's our ghost. It's an actual poltergeist. Do I have a persona? I'm gonna I'm gonna go non-standard way and just see see what happens if I fuck around instead of just attacking. 
Oh, I got a I've got a I've got an organization coat. Cleavage, go. Are we are we allowing this thing to know all of our moves? Bewildering fog. Ah. Uh... Defense reverted. Fine. Okay. Fog only deepens. Well, all right. I guess we're going to keep doing these for now, then. We'll meet again. At a place other than here. Hmm, I look forward to it. You are losing... Co I'm sorry. What? Oh, hey. Can we talk about how this game is doing the, the 4chan uh, IRC style little uh, doot doot? We got we got our uh, our our right carrot to indicate a thing is happening instead of uh, instead of text. Yeah, this does this is legit very much like Pokemon Swords intro, isn't it? We're in the we're in the uh, the the slumbering wield. Oh boy, you can hear someone's voice. What could it have been about? What day is it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Morning. That was perfectly timed. Okay. Okay. Let's eat. Sounds good. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Okay, but what are these next to the eggs? You didn't mention what those... You didn't say anything about sausages, so... Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. So you bought the sausages? Also, you're five and you're handling a frying pan? Goddamn. You're starting school today, right? I sure am. You're starting school next year, right? My school's on the way, so... Okay. Let's go together. Cool. Wait, and we should probably eat breakfast first, though. Samagawa Floodplain. Okay. This looks actually very similar to uh, the area that uh, we lived before this house. My school's this way. Bye. Okay. Aw, oh, man. I got the umbrella without any paint on it. Oh, it's Teddy that's running in the TV. School zone. Intersection in front of the school. Okay. Buh. Oh no, my dick! <laughs> no, not in front of people, please. Just, just letting this sit for a second here. Just, just this image. I don't think they thought about what was happening here too well. Sure did. I, you never want to break your dick. Leave him be. You can't help his dick right now. Not to not till your social link is better. Yasagami. What kind of student life awaits you here? Probably a high school one. <laughs> the first audible words I heard were it's been a while. The homeroom teacher here is Moroka, isn't it? I legit was expecting them to pronounce it Maruka. I'm a little impressed, Moroka. Or Moroka. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. Mm. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. He's probably big and dumb. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Interesting moment to transfer student from the city, just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. I am dead. I broke my dick on the way to school. I don't want to talk about it. All right, so we got to We're gonna have a big dumb best friend. Got it. 
Yasugami means 80 deities. Okay, that makes sense. Interesting. So, wait, so... Just thinking real quick here. Y is Yaso 80? I'm still... I, I never quite even got as far as getting all the way up to 10 in Japanese. Uh, um, if my memory is correct, in Korean, 8 is Yasut. So it's curious that they're very... that they're similar like that. Um... Sorry, no. Yes, it is six, not eight. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Just trying to make sure that I keep up on the chat. One of these days, I'm going to have a monitor that sits next to the TV for these things so that we can just have the chat like right there and much easier to see. Who knows? Who knows? It's weird that that's an old... Wow. Oh, Boy, we got Winston Payne's cousin teaching our class. Fucking hell. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. Wow. Yikes. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Dude's going to get himself fired immediately. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's going to get fired very fast. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from hey. the city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. So how many days into the curriculum am I allowed to spin kick him out the window? And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Who the fuck is... What the fuck? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. I don't know. A ghost told me that, uh... Oh, man. It's so tempting. Oh, God. It's so tempting... But that's such an easy way to get myself into actual trouble there. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't... Look, you're mm. giving that girl back there by the window. You thought I wouldn't notice? Why are you looking at how I'm looking at people? Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes. What the fuck? In more ways than one. This guy is the biggest fucking you prick. You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. What? Are we going to... Uh, this guy's giving me big, like... Like incel back in high school himself vibes, and this is how he chooses to exact his revenge on everyone as a teacher is by being creepily over, uh, uh, over attentive to that shit. Jesus. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Oh boy, that is That's that's a real time capsule of a of a of a sentence right there. When I say that as someone who who had a live journal, never got into MySpace. Tried it, was not my thing. transfer student sits here? Why? Are you gonna fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I definitely had a live journal in the uh, in the early mid-2000s for sure. I didn't keep uh, and into the into the into the later 2000s actually because I had it in high school and the start of college. 
2011 seems a little bit less likely, but I guess that makes it a, 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 an out of date, like an out of touch reference at that point. Because by that point, Facebook had kind of opened yeah, up sure. to everybody. Hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Jesus Christ. And if I catch you fucking, you're going to be in trouble. He's the worst, huh? I heard that. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Oh, sucks to be the transfer student ending up in King Moron's class on the oh, first I'm glad with the year. I'm glad to have the implicit support of male student on that one. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. And then again, we're all in yeah, the same what? boat. Shut your traps. I'm taking roll. Oh, I damn God. well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Jesus Christ. I mean, if I if I sit down and don't speak, I'll probably fit in fine, at least in class. Jesus. Uh huh. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. So, what did we do today? Because maybe we went over curriculum. Attention, all teachers. It is time for the purge to begin. <laughs> Everyone close in on Mr. Moraoka's classroom. Take him out quickly. Thank you. Bing, 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 bing. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. We changed our minds. Everyone kill Moraoka in here. All students must return to their classrooms and Ooh. are not to leave the school until further notice. Shit's going down. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. You just said otherwise. Does that count? Mr. Mar- Ah, oh, he's gone. He's seriously getting on my nerves. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Are we about to have a situation that's really hard to put on YouTube? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, oh, the like fog. Every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Oh, so the fog is the is this game's version of the dark hour? Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. That is the deepest fucking voice I've ever heard for a fucking what fourteen year old. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> the rumor loving student. <clears throat> hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Uh-oh. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Oh jeez. Okay. I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, that's a respectful response. <laughs> longer is this gonna take it depends how many bullets they have for mr moroka there's no telling i should have left before the announcement came on by the way did you try what i told you the other day we don't need to hear you know, any more about this that thing about rainy nights oh. impossible odds no not yet sorry the way that they've drawn her face there's something about it that I can't place. It looks, it almost looks like something out of a like Junji Ito, uh, uh, manga or like their anime adaptations or something. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's just I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, "My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer." My girlfriend is Taylor Swift. Attention, all students. Run, run fast. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. So, everybody call... Yeah, uh... Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Whatever you do, do not walk up to them and give them riddles about the existential dread that they are probably facing in general. It will disturb them. I repeat. Incident? 
What? Something actually happened? Yeah. Do not touch the sausages. They're not real. Come on. Let's go take a look. Oh, God. Rubbernecking. Here we go. Quiet bookish girl. Lead the way. Wait, she's back again. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Yeah, you did it all day today. It'd be kind of hard for me to forget that. Why? <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Okay. This is Yukiko Amagi. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Meetings you that I feel like it, this is the default. This is the default pace to meet somebody. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. What? What? Also, I'm curious. They're, they're, I'm going to say, she's using some, like, more casual dialogue. And I'm kind of kid like, the, it makes me look like I got no upbringing. Makes me wonder if they're going to, if they're doing the Kansai thing, but, like, a little softer than normal without going full country twang. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Oh, hey, buddy. How's your dick? Miss Satanaka. Bleak looking st My name's Bleak. I mean, Blake. Sorry. Shit. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. What? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next patient. Oh, no. What broke? See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Buh, buh. Oh no, he she broke his dick again. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. This is the third time he's hurt his dick today. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Oh, we're not even we're not even dancing around it. We're just going for it. Okay. Cracked his cracked his sack right over wide open. Uh, are you all right? Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? Also, not that it needs explaining, but oh, you bitch! God damn it! <laughs> getting getting nailed in the in the balls is fucking crippling pain. Yeah, he's been grabbing his dick for the last five minutes. It's a miracle he hasn't gotten arrested yet. Oh, my God. You should leave him be. You don't want to watch what he does next. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, we need a little... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I didn't ask if you were going. What the fuck? What the what, what the did fuck? He want from me? Well, I mean, it seemed fairly what apparent. Did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Yeah. Huh? Really? Oh boy. You really had no clue. Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yuki-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? They gonna end up together? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Gah. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'd rather not. Oof. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. <laughs> Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. He's watched me get hit in the balls twice today. We're just curious is all. Yo? Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Into what? This was, a no this was like a nothing moment that apparently is drawing Come a crowd. On, let's go. Everyone's staring. It's the weirdest set of interactions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Yeah, like, it's not like you got framed for a crime you didn't commit and are trying to get out of jail or anything, right? That'd be fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, this isn't a flashback in the middle of an interrogation right now, is it? Okay, cool. There really is nothing here, huh? That's not nothing. It's just not grown yet. That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Well, you have that beautiful low, <laughs> low res hill texture, right on the other side of of where's that rice? And then you've got. The mountains imported directly from Sonic Adventure. And the storm clouds, too. You've got lots to show off there here. There is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Ironically, the Amagi Challenge is just, uh, is just staying a night in each of the rooms at the Amagi Inn. Huh? It's... Just an old inn. No way. It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. Yeah, like Scholastic. Um Nintendo Power. And Tiger Beat. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Like the world or they're in actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Can't say I've ever heard of a place where the, the hotels were keeping the economy going. It's usually more of an ancillary, like, little perk right there. I don't think that's entirely true. What other magazine just went down? Sports Illustrated, I think, just, just, uh, just shuttered, uh, just closed up. Tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Sure, why not? Oh, I knew it! Oh my god. Come on, don't start this again. Oh my god. Does do you buy do you buy your school uniform from Mitsubishi? What is the There's like a little symbol on the bottom right of it. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? I th this I'm trying to think of who out of who out of people I know would would be a match for Yukiko but Chie Chie strikes me like Chie is more and more just like oh this is Lindsay just like rubbing it in or like kind of weird huh Come on stop it Oh my god y You shouldn't believe that okay It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend Okay Wait no no what I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Uh-huh. Jeez, Chie. 
<laughs> Sorry. Oh my Sorry. god. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? That's that's rice. Oh, does something happen at the end? So that high schooler oh. left school early, and as she came down this street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? So, I did notice during the intro that they kept having characters, couldn't tell if they were main characters, they were just general characters, dangling from antennas and power lines and, uh, like, transformers and stuff. I wanted to see it And, too. like, on the one hand, it had, uh, like, the bright colors and stuff made it look like ecstatic bliss and stuff, but... There's also a pretty clear type of imagery you get from someone dangling from high wires and electrical conduits and stuff. You got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Yes, that's what I said. You're very loud. Whoop. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing here? School. Huh. I should have figured that I don't that think we intentionally way. poked our noses Damn in. Principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? He's my uncle. And my house dad. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. What? That's the maybe the weirdest way that that you could have finished that thought, Dojima. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. But our homes are in three different directions. What do we do? Whatever you do, don't get the beans on your fish. I microwaved mine ten minutes ago. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? It's my fourth day. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Does anybody have a sink? I puked all over myself. Bye. <laughs> it's a jaunty prance. Is this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? I mean, I would say that that description is pretty straightforward, but that's just me. Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Okay. As opposed to today, where we did pretty bad. You're probably good to not be around a crime scene. Hey. I don't know if there's much for me to actually do outside the house right now, but I may as well poke around a little bit. Ah, uh, boards. Bookstore is empty. That's not doing anything. I love when people die and I don't have to do stuff. Okay, nothing too significant so far, but I can go north. Chinese diner. Aya. Oh, hey. No job openings. Ain't it the truth? Samagawa Bojo. Misuzu Hiragi. Poster of a famous Enka singer. All right. Hmm. Okie dokie. Is the store owner going to be the one who uh, took the fall? Can't go that way. Alright, Tatsuhime Shrine. Can I 
I go in? Yes, I can. You can have another confusing uh, shrine set of stuff to do in this game, too. Oh. Because it's in the shade, the air here is moist. That's an odd thing to suddenly get a description for. I'm sure that's going to come up later. Yeah. Welcome to Yeehaw. What do you want? Oh, oh, nope. Da be, ha be. You tell me, goober. Oh, hello. Okay, nothing. Nothing as of yet. We got a barber. Okay. Electronic store, Ichikawa Electronics. Going on a business sale. I feel like uh, a lot of these are not going to be real stores, huh? Yes, that's right. I'm in front of the store owned by the parents. Yes, I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no. Like I explained already. The parents of the person who is dangling from the antenna. Konishi Liquors. With a roulette game. That's fun. Bike shop. Oh, sweet. We can get Poke Dollars here. Fuck yeah. Uh, sure. Now, here's the other thing. I'm going to go back in here because I'm curious. Okay, it all just counts as leaving the... the... Okay. Just figured I'd check. I want to familiarize myself with the uh, my surroundings a little bit. Juness. He said he's going to come get us. Something would happen, but what? Okay. Terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. I want to shop. How about this elevator? Why you got to investigate both at the same time? <coughs> All right, I guess we're not doing stuff over here then. Fine. Yeah. No, a billion Poké Dollars. They don't even have them here. So I'm going to go a floodplain. Can I catch that butterfly bird? I'm hearing police sirens. Stairs! We did it! It's a cute little... Shadows of Fish. All right, so that I can fish here later. That'll be cool. It's called Sanigawa and uh, Samigawa, and there's tons of fish. Okay. Scaring all the birds. Scaring all the birds away. Can I read that sign? I can't read. Can't read. It's going to make high school a lot harder, that's for sure. Duh, he's so cozy. Goober. Can I not interact with it? Oh, okay, it's going to be weird. Yeah, I can't go up that way. Leave the floodplain. Sure, why not? Let's go home now. Gonna go hang out at home now. We're gonna go oh, home now. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm. The police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight, too. What now? That's no problem. Here you can have some that I harvested from my garden of souls. You take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Hint, 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 hint. They start a home garden, too. Does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Okay. <laughs> go to town. No, because I think that's just going to take us back where we were before there. Let's go inside. 
Sure, let's do it. Yeah, if I taught you how to read, you'd probably just want to fuck. Oh no. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Well, we laid out the trap. A tin cup full of lit cigarettes. We'll see if he shows up. Our top story having a Moscow mule. A bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Welcome to the school zone. Uh, yeah, probably. The deceased has been identified as oh, no. Miss Ayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. No! The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's <laughs> investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Uh-uh. <sighs> it's his job, so things like this happen. Okay. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. So, I wonder if it's uh, meaningful that the TV reporter was found hanging from a TV antenna. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. We'll see that politician's actually a soul ghost and turned into a monster in the fog and just went, whoop, spling, and that was it. With the cause of death also uncertain, Police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Yeah. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress. Ain't that plans something? plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Hmm. Her affair with a little councilman, a local councilman secretary had been on the news just the other day. Oh, he's a councilman secretary? I thought he was the councilman. They found the roof that's scary yeah maybe not on the roof more like above the roof but you know <coughs> oh it's juness go ahead sing it juness every day is customer appreciation day come see for yourself and get in touch with our products every day is great at your juness <sighs> every day is great at your Junas. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play along. You memorized it already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Yeah, we have singing competitions about it at school all the time. That's good, at least. <laughs> oh my god. Always with the quiz shows, this kid. Alright. Oh, let's save again. Alrighty. Guess it's probably time. Oh, I can't do stuff in my room, though? Oh. Whoa! Oh, my dick! Someone. I got it stuck in this garbage can! Oh, my God, man. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um, I love that the description keeps changing every time we see him. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Rico Chet Padlock I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How's your dick? Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? Yeah, where your dick got hit you three times? The lady hanging from an antenna. Oh, that one. Some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. <clears throat> then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. I would agree. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. 
So long as I don't get my dick hurt. Not again. Early morning, there's a <laughs> diamond rolling through the screen. Oh, God. Oh, he's not speaking. First of all, my job is to waste my precious time using you assholes' philosophy. Boy, that's a loaded sentiment all to itself. Uh, I'm especially hard on... Oh, no. I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Jesus Christ. Yay, I'm smirt. All right. So, you getting used to this place? Sure. Wow, that was fast. And there isn't much to if do. If I say not yet, wow, city. that's pretty slow. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. What is that? The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Fog? It's grilled steak, man. What if it's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? Gross. You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. <laughs> Double gross. What about Sorry, me? I don't see you that way, man. No apologies. You kicked him in the balls. My trial of the dragon. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Oh my god. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. You can do both. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. All well, right. I should be on my way. Oh, well. We should get going, too. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do I seriously have to treat two people? <laughs> Oh boy. So, all right, the 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 Juness thing. This is the cheap place you were talking about. Oh, they don't have grilled steak here. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It makes me think of Juno for one, but also um, Janice. Or Janus, whichever, however you want to pronounce it, the the two-headed, two-faced figure in mythology, and we've got the two J's on there, so I'm kind of wondering if that, if this is the connection they're making. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, oh. I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place, dude. This isn't my yeah, place. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet. Oh, does he work here? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up ah. and my dad was assigned to manage it. There we go. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. It's a Sprite. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Cheers. <laughs> ah, yummy. How come the table's the moon? It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <laughs> well, they did burn down 15 different mom-and-pop shops to make it happen, so... Mm. <sighs> Okay. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. That's oh, Saki okay. Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Okay. So, yeah, they own the liquor store, and the cop that was out there was like, "I'm, at, I'm out in front of the parents' place or something." I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing <laughs> your friends here? 
Oh, madam, you wound me. No. No. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need well, to talk, I'm really I'm sorry to, to hear that. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I'm always okay. willing to listen. So. <laughs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hmm. So she was the one who. Hey, is he the kid who transferred gotcha. here? Whoop. That's a hell of a turn. Hi. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? I guess. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Are you referring to yourself or to uh uh Yosuke? I don't see Hanachan okay. hanging out with the other guys much. <laughs> Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends. Oh my so god. You two get along good. Saki, Saki just uh just absolutely obliterating him in front of everybody. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. Oh my god. Him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Nah, he's great. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Okay. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. I'm not worried. Well, yeah, Saki. Just about over. Selling Back some sake. I go. Later. Oh, uh, Senpai? Nope. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. <laughs> You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. Chie is real smart up in the brain zone. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Oh, my God. Dude, it's not like that. Just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? It's porn! You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight. Ah, uh, that's how you get the fog. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. <clears throat> and they say that person's your soulmate. Oh well, no, I tried to kill my soulmate. I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Oh. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Oh. Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? No. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Then you'll see your reflection in the TV. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. Must have been something I said. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? I mean, probably, right? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> he might be my soulmate. Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now he's the childish one. All I'm saying is... You guys better try it out tonight. Now who's the childish one? All right, tonight we're all doing Bloody Mary, okay? Cool. Sure, I'll try it out. I'll go to the ghost zone again. I'll go meet Zassian. <sighs> no, he always says he will. Uh-huh. No, it's just Yosuke. <laughs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Well, we went to school, and then we came home and we ate. So, yeah. No, you're late 
again. What, it's not 1.30? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. It's that whole dead reporter thing going on. <clears throat> Can you put the news on for me? Why would you want to watch the news after spending your whole day investigating a really high-profile murder? Next. More details in the developing story on the yeah, incident. Yeah, why the fuck would he want to watch more of this? Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. Oh boy, town. okay. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Ms. Yamano, the TV announcer was still alive. She was having an affair with the councilman secretary. Yep. I don't know. We've we've talked about it only seven or eight times so far in the last... We've only been in for an hour and a half? Oh, my God. Legit, I, I thought that we'd been in for longer just because of how many times this has come up so far. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with any them. Any person. In addition... We now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Saki. Ms. No, uh, an interview with a kid. Uh, where the hell did they find her? I don't know, Juness. What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Jesus, that's pretty callous. Uh, um. Why does her voice sound so fucked up like that? Yeah. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Oh, this guy's a prick. Huh? She was killed? Uh... Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? Oh! Oh, that makes sense. Uh, modulating the voice to, to protect her identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. I feel like the the like and maybe this is more maybe they do it more like this in Japan, but the the one that I'm used to here in the States obviously you got the voice really low, you modulate it down like an octave and you silhouette them. No, not really. We heard that you found it when Spooky. you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Well, I had to pee really badly and the bathroom was full. Huh? That's Jesus Christ. She reminds you of that girl. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Wow, great report. That guy is going to get paid. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. As a result of someone who was murdered yesterday? Yeah, probably. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. I mean, that too. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. So uh, crass, Jesus. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Until I, the creditor. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. Oh, jeez. So the cause of death is still unknown? And they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even oh figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. Jesus Christ. We'll be right back after these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. At Juness, every oh no. day is customer appreciation no. day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Oh, don't do it. Every day. <sighs> is every commercial in Japan seven seconds long? Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> I figure I've always wanted to go to either Disney World or Walmart. No? <laughs> oh, haha. <laughs> I will say one of my favorite one of my favorite commercials of all time is the one second Miller High Life commercial. Uh, technically, the D pad uh, was officially sponsored by Miller High Life for for however long that very not legal contract lasted. You could you could uh, um, 
you send them a dollar and they'll and they send you a piece of paper that says that you personally are sponsored by Miller High Life, which was kind of adorable. And I was like, fuck it, it's a dollar. Quiz show. Okay. And over here. Save our game. All right. Well, time to do watch TV in your room. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's almost midnight. You saw made appears if you look into TV on a rainy night. Do 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 do. Oh boy. Ready to go to the fog world? Here we go. It's happening. My head got tiny. <laughs> My eyes are super far apart. <laughs> Ooh, my soulmate's a murderer. My soulmate is me. Hey. It's after midnight. It's too late now. Uh-huh. You get pulled in. Oh. There you go. Persona 3, you shoot yourself. Persona 4, you shove your head into a TV. The rest of this game is all in his head now. Are you okay? He's got a terrible concussion. I heard a really loud noise. I'm good. Well, good night. I didn't really answer your question, but okay. Are my pupils dilated? Hey, I used to have literally that exact little gyro thing as a kid. Oh no, it's umbrellas out. Sorry. What happened to the rest of your line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're doing like partial okay. I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of kung fu movies that feature umbrellas, and the only martial arts movie I can think of at all is literally uh, Shanghai Nights. I did. Uh -huh. I'll save for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. The others is is. Uh, is Yuki also? Uh, um. Uh huh. I farted real bad. We gotta keep walking. Sure, let's race. Huh? <laughs> Hey. <coughs> huh. 
Oh no! <laughs> no! Girl, you don't look Egyptian. This might be a little bit problematic. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. Oh. World history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past. The girl in the front is, like, passing out. The profundity of history together. Ho, 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 ho. Start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Padlock, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD call? 1 AD uh, is 1 BC. There is no year zero. If you, if you think that history is like math, zero AD would be a natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. It never occurred to me that that would be the reason there's, that it goes to 1 BC instead of a zero. That, they, that zero as a concept did not really exist yet. Huh. Hey, Jeff. Jeffer Jeffers. Legend of the Iron Monkey. Okay. Interesting. My knowledge went up. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Mm. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed Probably. Up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. All right. Y yo. Um. Yeah. Did you know I got my dick hurt uh, again today? <laughs> it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh. I found out my soulmate is a, is a crotch-kicking robot. Oh, uh, you never mind. Oh, my God. Look, I'll tell you later. Somebody. Somebody talk to me. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? The rumor that you're going to get your dick kicked? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. Yes. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Lots of people are coming into town now that there's dead people. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? No, nah, I haven't seen the movie or the miniseries. Thinking about it, though. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? Oh, my God. Can we quit dancing around I this? Did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? You'll figure it out. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. Uh -huh. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. <laughs> this, ga this game was, in the was before the lesbian patch, yeah. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? Oh no, we're in a love triangle now. Dang. How should I know? <laughs> How about you? Did you see it? Oh no, it's a love square now. Dang. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? <laughs> I haven't had my dick hurt today, and I'm thinking about trying something when I get home now. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still in the in the headspace of them discussing someone getting sucked off by a TV. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Girl. <laughs> if it had been bigger. Yo, hey, whoa. Oh, 
That reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TV. Oh, is that how we're getting in? We're days. jumping through her TV specifically? Want to go check him out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. You're going to put beef in your electronics? Gross. I've never played Sneak King. I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Oh, my God. It is appropriate that she's wearing that she's wearing a jacket with vertical stripes. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> oh no. There's always something great at Juness. Wow, hey penguins. That TV legit looks almost exactly the same as the TV that I'm playing this on right now. I don't know. Rich folks? They have come down in price quite a bit in the last 15 years. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. We uh, couldn't find that movie on VHS, and DVDs haven't been invented properly in our world yet. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Actually, we charge for that, too. Nope. <laughs> Figures. Well, yeah, it's like three in the afternoon. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. <laughs> we all just passed out after getting sucked off by our TVs. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Yosuke, buddy. Buddy old pal, you were not climbing inside of the TV. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. <laughs> you got any suggestions? Well, we got this Hello Kitty one with a VHS player right there, so, you know. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. <laughs> There's like eight zeros. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the Probably bat. Probably, yes. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. Awkward that they've got uh, the Enka star as a cardboard cutout, given what's no, been going on. Also, I appreciate we have uh, Splimo the Hedgehog as the uh, the mascot of this place. Hey, how about this hey you guys, way? buy some TVs, it's please. Old, I need to trap you in the fog dimension. It's real bad. There's this TV. It uh, doesn't work. I'm sorry. Did that sound just say moo? Moo. Oh. Oh, yeah. What kind well, of that just works. You... Okay. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? Chie. Like, like with a, a new function? Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's it's a it's a, a non-Newtonian fluid uh crystal display hell no you got to be kidding me did you really stick your hand oh my the god screen? well this is how i got Go sucked man. into this it is for real that's some magic trick man so how's it work huh what's the magician's secret all right so i take my hand right and i just and it just goes through it's pretty pretty sweet right <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, don't do that. What are you doing? Why, why would you not stick your leg in first before sticking your whole ass head? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This bitch is gay. Good for them. 
Good for them. <laughs> what do you mean inside? Within the confines of? Wh what do you mean empty space? I mean that's that's pretty self-explanatory. Can I just pull them in? What do you mean spacious? The same thing as empty space. I mean what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. <laughs> Anytime one of my friends is suddenly headless, I just pee everywhere. Yeah. I thought that part was clear. I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. Pee on the TV. I can't hold it anymore. Oh my god, is he actually about that's why yellow got it. Shit, customers, they're coming. Gross. Is it because they're getting sucked into the TVs? Okay, then just be in or out. What are we going to do? Be in or out. Pick one. Oh, my God. Oof. Wait, now he's going to pee all over the yellow dimension. Oh, I like this transition. That's cool. That's a fun transition. I like that. Oh, no. We already peed. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Everyone has severely broken bones. Right on my, wallet. Man, where the heck are we? my my bladder exploded. What is this place? We're all nine feet tall in here. Inside, Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, We're all extremely leggy. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Good. Uh, I like that they made our character as gray as possible to make him the blankest slate. <laughs> OLED BJ. Yeah. So, uh, we're still alive. Oh no, we're totally dead. Huh? I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> it was always cracked. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Thank you, Chie. Whoa. What now? I was just about what to say, pants? if she didn't fill that in, if she just ended with what now, my joke response was, you peed your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. I already peed everywhere. Is this a studio? A lot of dead body detective things in there. All this fog. Or is it smoke? I don't know. Smell it. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? I mean... Hell no. But man. What's on the wall this over place there? This is huge. The texture changes just enough that it looks like there's something on the wall through the... Or I guess it's just pulsing weirdly. What are we gonna do? I mean, yeah, let's look around. But, but... Look. We need to get home. Yeah, how? Huh? the portal above us. We did fall in. Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, so how? Yeah, thank you. An exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. Yeah. All right. So we need to find a way out. We just, yep. Is there really a way out of here? I mean, if there isn't, then trying to get home really does not matter, does it? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. It's not really how that works, but we'll let it slide. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers. Okay, Yosuke's Yosuke's got his got his head in the game. Cause we got our head in the TV. Oh, we can't go in there. That's where Persona Five is. What is this place? It feels different from <laughs> where we were before. The pea seems a lot more dehydrated over here. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn this. 
it's so thick you hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? No. I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. Only a little, though. I know, but. Oh, I guess that door wasn't actually scary. Got it. Well, I guess that's where we live now. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? I've never seen a fog lighter before. No service. What a surprise. Hey, where's uh Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough okay. to see where you're going. Huh? Ah. What the? Those are all pictures well, those are all mangled pictures of the uh, the Enka singer. So is this like the regrets of either the dead woman or the politician or something? Yeah. It's a dead end. There's no exit. You're literally staring at a door, Chie. What is that on the side? It's like a red ribbon. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Can't hold it any longer. Pee in the fridge. My bladder's gonna explode. Pee in the fridge. Yosuke, oh. what are you doing? Peeing. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here. Oh, you. Have this is why he's gonna it. die about eighty hours later because his DNA is here now. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Uh, you just said that you're about to. You said you're about to piss your Tell pants. Your just piss your just burst. piss your not pants. Like I care. But Anyways. So did he pee or not? <laughs> like <laughs> Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Yeah, enough to pee on the walls. Ooh. Dude. Yeah. This chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. Mm. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Yeah, it looks like a or a muffler. Come on. Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I've seen that poster before. You have a lot. It's Who literally cares? in your in the store. Let's go! I'm sick of this place, and I'm not feeling so good. Uh, suddenly, I have to pee a lot. Uh oh. Now that you mention it, me too. That might just also be the piss. Oppressive atmosphere. All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. All right. The loading screen looks like a Jackbox, like Jelly Vision Phew. loader. We finally made it back here. To the piss door. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. It's me. Oh no, it's Eggman. Oh, it's Teddy. In the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talks. Surprisingly normal voice. W what are you? You want to fight? Yeah. The, don't yell at me like that. I'm just a clown. <laughs> this place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. All right, Persona 3 had Tartarus. Persona 4 has what it is. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd yeah, hurry the, back uh, to the, the, the other the opening, side. Yeah, the, the opening animation has a list of characters with names. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. And you got a big head. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I think that's pretty literal, actually. I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. So he's a resident of this place? Hey, what's your problem? 
What gives you the right to yell at us? Like oh my god, Chie, stop. What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? How woo 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 woo. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. Would love to. What it comes down to is you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Oh, okay. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the freaking exit is. No. Wait, what? There we go. He got there. <laughs> oh, one for each of us. The hell? Where did those TVs come from? All right, Chia, you're the bottom of the pyramid. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What do you do here? What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing. Oh, <laughs> Why? Huh? Is this? Uh huh. Did we? Make it back? Nuh uh. Moo. <laughs> Did you guys meet my bear friend in there? Attention shoppers. He's really big. He's got a zipper. You don't want to know what he hides. On the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. That seems. Unsettling. Crap. It's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. <laughs> right there. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? It's a weird response. Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Well, they're fermented, so it's all super alcoholic. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? I mean, that would be the obvious now connection. That I think about it. There was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. It sure was, and she doesn't seem like she knows how to lasso things. Yeah, stop. No more. We got to stop talking about this. <laughs> I'm going to wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. <laughs> or my bladder. I keep hurting my dick, you guys. I'm chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Okay. Hey, there was a bed in the in the piss dimension. My home now? Yeah. Aw, oh, sweet, I love eating hey, pre-made well, bowls of cereal. I know that it's that it's top ramen. Um well, I doubt you'd know. Do you know how to open these things, kid? We've been at it for two and a half hours. My daughter's gonna starve. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? I heard her parents own a drug uh, liquor store. No. Yeah, that's true. Violation of ethical boundaries in your investigation. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. Oh shit! She disappeared. Oh no! Do we got to rescue Saki? We've got people looking for her, but. She hasn't been found. Oh no, she's in the piss dimension. We gotta go to the piss dimension to save Liquor Girl. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Two days ago, you know. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. I mean, I would guess the TV studio, but that's just me. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's in that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh, 
am I to judge? Hey, I see Hedgy. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome yes. to the stream. The Sandburb. Hashtag Sandburb. Mm -hmm. Sandburb can meet Piss Dimension Zipper Bear. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. It's a weird it's emphasis. That she'll take over the inn this spring. Seems a little young to do that. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Why? Why? Why were those two thoughts connected? Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. Whoa. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect. I kind of wish that that was region. the entire, the entire news thing was like the rain will subside. Moving on to sports. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Everybody get glasses now. <laughs> Staying at Amagi Inn. It's weird that we're getting these little, like, summary recaps. Is the ramen ready now? Oh, I didn't put the hot water in yet, so pro probably not. Give it some more time. Cover your face, you fucking weirdo. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. They don't have trees where you come from, do they? Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? I can warm it up if he wants to. You should get to bed <laughs> after you take it. Gotta have the budget list. Hot water for ramen, 48,000 yen. Ramen, 15 yen. Table, 400 yen. Please, someone help me budget. My daughter is starving. After I take the bed? So today, she goes sleep early or catch a cold? Because there's fog outside. All right, anything in the fridge? Clearly, I should have eaten the fried rice last time. All righty, up we go. We're going to rest. Rain should subside. Psych, it's here for two more days. Oh, no, is that is that the politician now? Yeesh. Oh, wait, was that Saki? Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Oh, Jesus. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so oh, he left. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, boy. When I looked, I saw three police oh, cars. Oh, man. You live by the police station, uh, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? <laughs> I need to juice stories or I, or I <laughs> can't go to sleep at night. We got a story juicer and everything. I do. I decide to head to school. Well, it seems like the first person to find the previous murder victim winds up dying, so that's not good. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Everybody, everybody gets the early edition in their TV. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly oh boy. all of a sudden. Hey. What's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, boy. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Lady, it is super inappropriate to be wearing that right now. Are you shitting me? Also, what's up, skinny Dumbledore? First, the principal has something to say. Oh, God. I... 
Regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. When I told you last week it was my 81st birthday, it was a lie. I am 139 years old. I met Lincoln's son. He was pretty cool. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3. This is such a brutally awful way to do this. Has passed away. Jesus Christ. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are uh. under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Now, please get on with your casual Friday. I will be wearing a Hawaiian shirt now. <laughs> Takes off his robes. No one is allowed to grieve today. Please. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. I don't think that's really the important aspect of this. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. What the fuck? Found dead? How could this happen? Well, first she was dead and then she was found. I would say that's probably the, the way, the order of operations there. Aw, <sighs> Yosuke. Buddy. Oh my god, the first she actual shot. Way is that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Because her parents sell liquor and people make drunk phone calls. God damn it. It's got to be a serial murder case. No, it was Little Bowls of Ramen, actually. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Ooh. Unknown. Was it piss? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. Mm. She said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. So yeah, everyone gets early edition TV. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. They're not really good. They're not going to connect the two aspects of, man, she was on the news a lot before she suddenly died mysteriously. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Speaking of... Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and... I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. <laughs> Not now, Leroy. Put down the keyboard, buddy. <laughs> the girl on the TV. Was Saki. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. This is the most horrifically... <laughs> Horrifically terrible music choice right now. <laughs> and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe, just maybe, but. Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before ah, she died, too. Okay, okay. Picking up what you're putting down. What's that supposed to mean? That the TV is killing people! Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... Die? Oh, boy. We got two more newscasters. And the voice actor for Juness. I can't say for sure. We have to kill every camera. Something tells me I just can't 
dismiss it as coincidence. I mean, it... you all right? Plus, remember what that oh. bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. Maybe if they stay too long, that's how they die. The room with the posters on the wall. It has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think? Oh no, that's right. In there? No, yeah, ha ha. Channel. Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Yeah, he's he's kind of he's definitely not stupid. Junpei ultimately wasn't like super stupid either. He was definitely kind of a ditz. Yosuke is a little bit more flighty, I guess. I, I I don't know. He's not dumb. He's he's more he's kind of a little a little bit of an airhead, I guess. Well, what do you think? You might be right. It's not just me, huh? I may be crazy. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. Hmm. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. All right, which of the three of these are going to find poster, uh, some image of themselves with their faces all scratched up? My bet is... My bet is... I'm gonna say Chie. I'm gonna say Chie is the first one is gonna see some image of herself that's all scratched up. Hey, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this. And you think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Man's got a point. Yosuke said, "A cab." Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. I mean, yeah, obviously. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. All right. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. Not Chie. She's being a, she's being a big dummy head. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. All right. I can kind of understand how he feels. Yeah. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safe. I mean, we just again. gotta find a bear. What should we do? I'm very curious what she would decide, but I'm gonna say we should go with Yosuke. You serious? I am. I'm betting if I let her decide that that would have bumped my understanding up. Alone. I bet you would have come to the same conclusion. We can't leave him alone. Oh, all right. We're doing that already. We're we getting our first dive, our first real look around now. The dark hour. Okay. You guys came. Gross. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on. You really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. It's cool that he brought his negative three wood. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. I said maybe. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about Chie is a really interesting option there, but... Yeah, I thought not. Well, that was an interesting music change. Hey, did you guys watch The Matrix? I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? Uh huh? What's that? A rope? Yeah, I got five feet of rope. Should be about right. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. 
That is not even remotely enough rope for him to hit the ground. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. <laughs> hey, my golf club isn't shaped like that. Medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. I mean, yeah. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. I did have a sword last time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. <laughs> Here we go. Ha, just falls and immediately. The rope gets let go. Hey, I said wait. Whoa, psychonauts! Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen. See? I knew this wasn't going to work. You coming in after us? Now what? Hmm. Ow, my butt balls. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. A piss dimension. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? Oh my god, look at his eyes. Hi. -y. I get it. You're the ones behind this. No. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. I'm gonna turn around, but you better not unzip my whole head. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. True. That means you're the most suspicious. Technically also true. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Good. Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Yeah. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Can we talk about how Teddy is staring past them at us? Did that someone throw those two in here? <laughs> Hey, what do you think? Yeah, I'll go along with that. Yeah, I agree. With yourself? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here <laughs> intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyway? Gross. It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Well, it's a good thing you got all those TVs then. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li mm. What? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating <sighs> here. The one who wants to investigate. Then we'll all investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. How? How? See? So it is you guys. Oh my god. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. <laughs> This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this All place right. somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? What's fog? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. Ooh, okay. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Mm. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. 
shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. Ugh. You better stop right now. I told you. Oh my god. Alright, man, I promise that we will not kill anybody. Starting now. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Are we gonna fight Teddy? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. <laughs> I'm just making sure. And this bear's driving me nuts. Now I'm kicking your nuts, Katrong. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Yes! You don't want to know what? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that. Teddy, how old are you? Here. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Hmm. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? Oh, don't do it. I'd say it's time you showed your face. Yosuke, don't do it. His whole his soul is gonna fall out. <laughs> what the hell are you? How did you pull it off like that? He has a zipper. It, it's empty inside. Oh, poor Teddy. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. He seems really unpissed about having his head pulled off. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Among the shadows. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. <laughs> you did behead me after all. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Okay. Promise me. Or else... I'll do it to you. I'm not going to let you guys out of here. Oh, I mean, that seems kind of obvious. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... Uh... What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Okay. Yeah, again, with the summary things, it's so strange. <sighs> hey, what should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at mm -hmm. your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Yup. The contract Igor spoke of. I guess so, yeah. There's no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? In writing? Yeah. Thank you. Let us shake fingertips. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our head. Oh, you mean like this? But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. No, you're not. There's lights everywhere. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You could just call him Buddy. You got a name? <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Figures. Wobble, wobble, wobble. How are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. Oh. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. Uh. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. Describe you them. Find clues. Oh, one thing first. You oh, two Kuma, should put nice. these on. <laughs> now 
Now you look like dorks. What are these glasses for? <laughs> Your eyes. Oh. Whoa. I don't know that I like this better than the foggy look before. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time. Okay. So you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. All right. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? No monsters, just shadows. We brought weapons, but, I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh -uh. No way. I've got no muscles. All of this? Fat in air. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Oh, good. It's, uh, it's Morgana. How's that sound? I can't, I cannot break, like, pushing is about as much as I could bring myself to. I'm not going to hit Teddy. It says push, not shove. I feel, I'm going to feel really, I'm going to feel really awful if he falls over. No! No! I'm so sorry, Teddy. Is this thing for real? Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. Oh yeah, can I ask you something? I can't stand up on my own. I'm really sorry. Who's this Saki Senpai person? You look really relaxed while you're turtling on the ground. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Well, don't leave him there. Oh my god. Huh. What is this place? It looks it's like just like the shopping Yeah. District. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I I don't know what to do. Uh by the way, why are you <laughs> standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come Jesus. up. Jesus. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, but... I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. Oh, my God. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? I don't think it's an intentional thing. How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, mm. we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Yeah, let's go to the booze store. Let's go to the packy. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean? Oh no, we gotta dive in that here? reddened hole. What could have happened? Looks Ooh, pretty dark in there. They're here. What? Shadows. I had a feeling they were going to attack. Oh boy. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh man. Oh god. Has anybody seen the entrance to the Miyazaki studio? Glurbly glurbly. Okay. Yeah. I am thou, thou oh, this is a really bad time to have a heart attack, man. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. <laughs> the nothing. Ah! 
Oh my god. Anybody seen The Matrix? Oh my god. He's Robo Sephiroth, everybody. Uh oh, whoops. Oh, he died. Uh Stay calm and listen. Okay. Some oh, I like their shadows. Weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Okay. I can tell this one has a weakness too. How can you tell that? Try stuff out and see what works. Oh, thanks. The weakness has more damage. How can I mean down you get the one more? All right. I don't know what my own weaknesses are right now, but let's let's try a Zio. So wait a second, hang on. I could burn a turn on that, but I'm just gonna give Zio a shot. Actually, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Okay, doke. Right. Spring. Man, we'll just <coughs> do it the old fashioned way there. Thwam. There we go. Soul drops, yum. You did it, Sensei. Izanagi, fool. Kill the other self. All right. The persona Izanagi. Ah. Whoa! What was that? Did I hear you say? Persona? Bah! What was it? Well, Paragaz created the islands of Japan. All right, cool. I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Go for it. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. I'm Sensei? Sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. Oh, okay. You're All right. One impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. Hmm. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? I'm not the culprit. And that's what I thought. This is really something. I mean, it's not nothing. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei oh. and then don't show me any respect? Don't be rude. Being so mean. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. <laughs> huh? Really? <laughs> oh my god. All right. You two keep it up and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Be cool if you guys might fight now with let's me. Get back to the investigation. I guess I'm the only one with a weapon right now. Man. I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Watch out, it's the death hole. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. Uh-oh. It's all because of that store. Uh-oh. What the? Oh, uh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? Uh. I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father, to have his own daughter working for the enemy. Jeez. What a troublesome child. Hey. Hey, Ted. Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, 
Does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Zoop, 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 zoop. Damn it, not again. Look at all these kegs. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? That your hair goes down to your shoulders? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me. Everybody's so fucking concerned about everyone places. fucking each other. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? Hmm. These photos. Hey, is this? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Hmm. I never had the chance to say it. Huh? Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Now, 50-50, her being her being like, I really like you, or I always hated his stupid fucking face. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. That was my ass. guess. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. A pain in the ass? I thought it was more of a pain in the dick kind of guy. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. I'll say it does seem like regret is a big theme with so yeah, these places so far. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo. Uh. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> the fuck? Huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> oh, the yellow eyes. Right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? I don't remember if the yellow eyes were a thing in three, but I know that it's a thing in five. Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. Is this a place that people are thrown into or fall into where they encounter the worst version of themselves who does everything they can to get people to kill themselves? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? Uh, Got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. I thought the. I think the idea, from what little I saw of five, it seemed like the idea was that yellow eyes indicate that you're. Okay, there we go. Just giving the music a second there. The yellow eyes is someone like being uninhibited and unrestrained with their emotions or something. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I oh, do fuck. know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. Uh. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single oh, other Jesus for Christ. Here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. 
if all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the Ugh. perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. It's cool that they use that they uh that they use the evil Ben voice modulator. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You're not me. You're nothing like me. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you. Uh, see? By insisting, by insisting so so firmly that they aren't the same person, it gives that sh their their shadow agency. That's bad. That's definitely not good. Oh no, it's Lollipop Ultra Beast. Lollipop Ultra Beast. Lollipop, you know that I love you. I am a shadow. The true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Huh. Starting with you. Get out of my sight. So I'm weak to wind. That's not good. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Oh boy. So we missed the status element attacks me blocks. Okay. We will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. Well, let's go ahead and give this a quick shot here. Not sure if there's a specific tell. He's got his arms in the air. Well, I'll give Zio a shot. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, Cleave is more expensive now, I think. Oh, that one... Right, it costs HP, not SP. Right. It's going to be proportional, probably. Okay. question is, is it worth doing an attack or something? But let's keep hammering on this. Don't underestimate me. It's guarding its weak point. Okay. Uh, let's just do this then. This is probably overkill, but... Oh, right, that was... Okay, so he's going to guard before he does his big attack, it seems like. All right. Definitely got a froggy sort of aesthetic, but aside from a little like superhero kind of thing there, it'd be interesting if it was some like reference to like a common rider thing or something. But uh, it almost reminds me of the uh, that whole the parable thing about the frog and the alligator or whatever. That's not gonna work. Here comes an attack. Yep. Defend yourself. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. All right. Out of the way. And by that, he means the same attack as previously. Uh oh. Hmm. 
real question is, is he about to... You know what, I'll do it just in case. If he doesn't attack, then that's fine. I'll, I'll... Okay, no, he did. Pretty powerful, too. That's not great. Right. In the ass. Here comes an attack. What a freaking pain in the ass. A lot of Get pains in the ass way. today. Out of the way. Got a little bit of a Cheshire Cat vibe there too. There we go. I was going to say, we got to be very close there. Ah, welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, oh, sweet. I got a nun item. Congratulations, Yay. Sensei. Yay. Sweet. Rakunda comes in the next one. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, we still here. You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Hmm. I guess that makes that might make sense too if the idea is that. It's all the worst, you know, qualities of a person being, like, emotionally honest about it. And the more you reject it, the worse it gets until eventually you just die because it kills you. Literally and metaphorically. This is an interesting one. to face yourself I knew it wasn't lying but I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it mm -hmm. you're me and I'm you oh that's when you get down to it all of this is this is a fun echo of the uh thou we you are thou art I and I art you know that whole thing Oh, I like that it's the two pieces kind of merged together there. Jiraiya. This is my persona. Hmm. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. No, oh, buddy. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Ninja associated with toads. Okay. Interesting. Like how it just happened to me? I think so. Ah, like the like the Black Ninja Ranger, or Blue Ninja Ranger. I think Black was the one that had frogs. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. <clears throat> and you saw what happens next: a strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows yeah, kills the okay. host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. Your lungs are full of fog. I don't hear any more voices. 
I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. All right. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? Hmm. I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? Good question. This is a TV studio, and the first victim we knew about was the reporter. I don't know. It's never happened before. Mm. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, uh, yep. but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Oh, it's legs. I was like, what's going on? There's two people over there that seem like they're dangling something from their hands, but it's the legs of another of another um, chalk outline. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. Uh, yes, I did see. I did see the uh, the trailers for After for Persona while, Three Reload. Shadow thing came out of them. Well, pretty interesting. I I don't know that I'm. Berserk, and it ended up killing. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to pick it up. I don't know that I I feel the need to scratch. Like I don't think I have an itch to scratch by playing right? it again. So if I'd been here, but it looks neat. Cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble. The uh, the recasting is uh, is fortunate in some ways. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Didn't that happen in... Oh, God. One of the characters in Persona 3 got stuck in Tartarus for a really long time, and I forget which one it was. But they were there for, like, a month or something by themselves. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. No shadows attacked mm. them. Fuka, yeah. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Be nice. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? I mean, if we're quick. Like how you guys just saved me? That's the idea. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. All right, we got to find someone throwing people into TVs. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Are you? Um, can I ask something, too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? A bear. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. Mm. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. At some point, that zipper is going to become teeth. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Probably. You'll... Keep your word. Yeah. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless <laughs> we do. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. So you better not let yourself get sucked by the TV anymore. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. All right. Oh, my God. I'm waiting for there to be a point two-thirds of the way through the game where that TV gets sold. And we have to go find it. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. <laughs> Got it? Seems well, like a setup for much. us having to come in from somewhere and then go find Teddy elsewhere. All right, can you show us the way out? 
Roger that. One exit coming right up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, I can't imagine any circumstance where it's it's the First protagonist's sure shadow. There aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh. Oh, my God. Is Chie just going to be sitting, waiting? Yay! You guys came back! I've been sitting here crying on the floor for five hours. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Oh my god. Ow! <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe this! You guys suck! <laughs> the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! I mean, scared! Snap! Damn it! Jesus Christ! I hate you both! No, you don't. <laughs> I, you and your I stupid glasses! Think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Uh, not really. Maybe we did go a little too far. Kinda, but like, you didn't know that that was gonna be a thing. Also, our protagonist just is Hideo Kimi uh, uh, Kojima at this point. Mixing up Hideo Kojima and Hideki Kamiya. Cool. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Alright, oh, man. Well, see you in the morning. I guess. It's a Saturday. We hanging out? Don't forget your rope. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello. How's it going? Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you... Getting used to your new town in school? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say I like it here. Really? Yeah. But it must be difficult moving to a place. I love you know it in the town about. where everyone dies. It's a great place to get the lemonade that kills you. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh right, right. I forgot about the whole oh, Saturdays are you getting for school in Japan. Chi? I mean, I always leave early, so... France does that, too. France has Wednesdays and Saturdays as half days. I'm glad to hear that. is very supportive, you know. <laughs> it's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. <laughs> we had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Oh, playing hooky. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. <laughs> um, I'll see you at school then. Okie dokie, bye bye. Oh no, someone threw their craft singles on the wall. Dad's late. He's going to miss his favorite shampoo commercial again. Oh, our God. Our story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. Oh, boy. Here we go. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Oh, yeah. That was all today area. still. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim... And since uh, Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body... We've placed the teenager who found Saki in protective custody. Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. Yo, if you're that councilman's secretary, you are going under some, some tight security. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. Oh, so yeah, she fell in, she lasted one hour, that's it? 
Damn. Body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Or shadows attacked her in the Another real world. Incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Uh. I would normally do this one, but we already kind of established this. I'll, I guess I'll do this one. I'll be okay. All right. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Uh, I really would love to do a hot spring one day. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Huh. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. They're so fucking focused on this. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Why? Excuse what? Me? What the fuck? Why? They're so weird about this. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus I Christ! We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Who cares? Oh well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Uh, uh, bad touch. Huh? No. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hope we got. Boring. I hope he's the next guy to die. Jesus. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Okay. Fucking Jesus Christ. Check your status by checking the command menu button. Or pressing the command menu button. Uh, okay, so you can quick save from a floor. Which is an interesting thing to introduce considering we didn't actually establish floors yet. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Hey, look, everybody. It's the panda from Yeek. Oh, my God. All right. This seems like a pretty good spot for us to call it for tonight. I think it was a pretty good, like, sample, sample taste of this game. We haven't done a proper dive yet, but... We got the we got the basically the tutorial. I, it seems like we've gotten most of that out of the way. Uh, we haven't done like party mechanics. We haven't done actual exploration uh, in the piss dimension yet. Uh, but we definitely have like a pretty good like basis for for stuff there. So cool. Um, it is definitely late here. I'm gonna wrap things up and then probably head to bed. Uh, but I'm excited for this. This is pretty rad so far. Um, I appreciate that I'm playing a modern uh, update with little quality of life tweaks. Like I, I'm happy to be playing a recent re-release of this as opposed to the PS3 version of like uh, Persona 3, which definitely felt a little aged at times, but I still enjoyed 3 quite a bit too. So I'm excited for this uh, and we'll see how things are going with it uh, next time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, all of the stuff that's coming up uh, has been on the bottom of the screen. So Got various streams coming up over the course of the next week. This Friday is also our monthly Patreon hangout. You can support us at patreon.com slash dpadfm, as you see on the bottom there. So cool. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good one, and bye. We all